when they type that you say okay you want to get married and then you don't have kids now mm -hmm. that's for you and your husband to decide don't let society decide anything for you and besides if you're those type of people that used to go out because there are people that go out and then perhaps even if my friend should get married today and even if we are close there's a couple of questions that i don't feel comfortable asking you because i'm not going to be asking you that ah, where you want to come born now yeah why you want to give us baby now because you don't know what they are dealing with inside their marriage right you don't you really don't know so don't let anything pre <music>
Mrs. A and Mrs. B cannot be the same, or Miss A or Miss B cannot be the same. Mm. Miss A can have everything at their morning season, yeah. while Miss B can have everything at the afternoon season, mm. while Miss C can have everything at the evening season. So we have our times and seasons. Okay. Well, I like what you just said about seasons. I haven't heard that before, but that's very interesting. Everybody has their own season. Mm. So yours can come in the morning, mm. yours can be in the afternoon, and another in the evening. Alright, so I remember when I was in secondary school, yeah, and then uh, I thought to myself that okay, I finished school quite early, that okay, and I finished my university at 21. So in my head I was like, ah, that's okay, I'll go for service, I will come back, and then I'll get married, I'll have a job, ah, by 25 I should have two kids. <laughs> you know what, I know the age. <laughs> anyway, and we are still here, thank God we have the job, right, we are doing well. And then we are not married, but uh, I have come to realize that sometimes we, in our head, you know, we have already set out this plan. You understand? You have your plan all, all laid down. That okay, I want to do this, 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 this particular period of time. And then you forget that okay, maybe God has a different plan for you. Yeah. So maybe this is not just the right time. Just the way you spoke about morning seasons, evening and afternoon seasons. Perhaps God's season for you. It's not the morning or maybe yours is in the afternoon or in the evening. So uh, I think um, ladies out there or guys out there, if you know that um, you're the one placing this on you, pressure on yourself. And then you spoke about Miss B being different from Miss A. Okay, now you look at your your peers or your age mates. You finish everything, and then now some people are driving Lamborghinis, G1 or. You don't know the God that they are serving. <laughs> some people are small people, but big God. Okay. <laughs> so you here, whatever it is that you're struggling with, I think your season will come. And yeah, that's just what I, I wanted to add to you for you see. And then um, you're in your twenties. So um, mid twenties. What uh, what are the life lessons you've learned this period of time? Okay. One of the major thing I've really learned so far is. One, being able to achieve whatever you want to do, like if you want to learn a skill, just go for it. And also, if you have the strength to, like if you have the power to do one or two service in the house of the of the Lord, you see very much fire amount. And also, try to make plans for your future, like make good plans. For your future start working towards it not making plans alone like if you want to be um let me see you want to go into weeks and other things maybe you want to sell weeks and you start making plans for them now mm -hmm. how are you going to achieve this thing between now and so, so, so time yeah. how are you going to do this mm -hmm. so so far i've learned um, that whatever you can do whatever you want to achieve right now this is the right time to do it because by the time you keep procrastinating by the time you keep delaying Time will be going, time waits for Numa. Yeah. The more you delay, the more time is going, and the more things are coming up. Sure. New trends, new things are coming up. So, you just want to learn those things and then follow up with the trends. Mm. Try to learn new, new things. Try to make sure you learn. That's the important thing. Yeah. Learn new things. Okay, make sure you learn. And then you spoke about skills. And I'm sure lately, in fact, in fact, generally, these Gen Z people now, they have skills. Most of them, they, I don't know, they're born digital and then everything they do now, they are making money digital. Uh, as opposed to the millennials, uh, we do not even find <laughs> that's the skill that we have. So, yeah, you're, you're actually right, aside from depending on whatever job it is you're doing, so figuring out what you are good at mm -hmm. and making money from there is actually a very good thing. But now, eh? What do you have to say about people? There are people that are, they are in their twenties, early twenties, and in fact, before they even clock twenty, they they had like figured out what they want to do in terms of skills. They know their God given talent, and then there are people that are in their twenties, well, maybe mid twenties, twenty five, they have figured it out. There are people that are in their late twenties, they haven't. Early thirties, they haven't. It's as if they don't know what it is that they really want. What do you think they can do to really figure out things for themselves? 
near the place of purpose comes in. That's why we need to discover purpose on time. Okay. I feel such a person should go out more on maybe purpose discovery seminars. Like try like the person should sit back and ask his or him, uh, his or herself, what am I really good at? What can I do? If you're good at writing, you can start copywriting. If you're good at speaking, you can go out do public speaking and the rest. Anything you know you're very good at because I I know definitely God places something special in each and every one of us. You you know that we don't have anything. There are some people that, that are very good when it comes to drawing, they are very good when it comes to a lot of things. So you don't just say you don't have anything, you're just there. Just discover people. If you know your people, everything will fall into places. There are some people immediately they just uh, after giving birth, their parents gave birth to them. You see them, their life, their purpose is already aligned mm. immediately. There are some people they need to struggle to discover their purpose. Why? Right? There are some people that up to now they have not really discovered what they are really good at. They are just there everywhere you see them around. So it's just for you to sit back and ask. Most important thing is the God factor. You need to ask God what? Because you cannot do anything without God. That is the thing. So you just ask, ask God what do you want me to do? What is my purpose? Definitely, God will show you what you're really good at and uh, what will work out for you. Because we have different things. We have different things that is working out for a lot of persons. Yeah. And some of persons they will just do videos and they're already good yeah. things. So they have different things that will help you and help you fetch a lot of money soon. Uh, so just for you to ask God and discover purpose. Right, right. Thank you very much. And then I'll take that as the advice that you have for mm. those trying to navigate India. 20s so what what i what i have picked up all is and um, you it's not as if you can really have it all in your 20s mm -hmm. so for me when you're like in your 20s although society classifies people to 18 as they are already adults but i feel even those in their 20s they are still learning as a matter of fact we learn every day so there are things that you may i don't know the especially the environment where people go home mm -hmm. really matters so there are, as you said, uh, I heard you mention that there are some people that even in their early 20s, they are very really figured out everything. Like, it means their, uh, their immediate environment they grow up, they already, they, perhaps their parents are yeah. going to do. So they already laid down everything that, oh, okay, your, your father and your mother, they are, they are CEO of companies. Uh, okay, you, you're going to learn the management course. And when you come back, you can be learning, for you know, your own family business. Mm -hmm. That one, their life is already, lay down all for them and then there are other people that they have to like struggle from morning to night trying to discover this kind of things so what i am thinking of from what you said is you cannot really have it all in your 20s and then if you're struggling to figure out things you just have to lean towards body more right and then uh yeah that's just what i have taken from what you have said so okay, so um this is it for today's video and you really have it all in your 20s. So guys, always remember that whatever it is you're going through, don't pressure yourself. You're, we are all still children. Yeah. We are all still children we try, um, still trying to navigate life as it is. Even when you're married, <laughs> you cannot figure it out even in marriage, even when you have your own kids. Because there are some times that you said you'll be acting like a baby too. So please don't pressure yourself. Don't let societies and societies and um, uh, I don't know, decision or whatever it is that they are funding their head that okay you're supposed to achieve this by this you're supposed to do this by this please if you're the type that you say okay you want to get married and then you don't have kids now that's for you and your husband to decide don't let society decide anything for you and besides if you're those type of people that used to go out because there are people that go out and then perhaps even if my friend should get married today and even if we are close there's a couple of questions that I don't feel comfortable asking you because I'm not going to be asking you that where you want to come home. Yeah. Why you want to be living now? Because you don't know what they are dealing with inside their marriage, right? You don't you really don't know. So don't let anything pressure you. And uh yeah, I Annie, mean, thank you for joining me today on this um very important topic. It was nice having you here and thank you guys for watching. Uh if you like this video, you can leave comments in the comment section below. Uh yeah, what should I do again? Subscribe. Yeah guys, please subscribe to uh my channel and leave uh comment, turn on your post notifications and thank you guys.